The Canisius College Wiki can host files, which is to say store files and make them available to visitors to view or download. Many files can be displayed on pages as clickable thumbnails, but for efficiency they're better presented as links. Here I have a link that consists simply of the file name, and if I click on it, file is going to appear in a viewer where I can scroll, read it, and when I'm done, I can click the white X to return to the page to which it's attached. This link goes to the very same file, but it's a more attractive link because instead of just having a sort of raw file name, it has a more descriptive title. And that's easy to do as well. If visitors have access to a file in Confluence, in addition to just viewing it, they can download a copy of it to their own device. To add a file to the wiki, I click the Edit link toward the upper right to edit the page, put the cursor where I would like the file link to appear, go to the Insert Files and Images icon in the toolbar, I click that icon, I can see files already attached to the page. In this case, I would like to upload a file from my hard drive, so I click Upload Files. This brings me to a Windows Explorer or Mac Finder dialog, and I choose the file I would like to add to this page. And in this case, I'll choose a demonstrator PDF file. Once I see that it's populated the file name box, I click the Open button to bring it in as an attachment to this page in the wiki, and then to insert it on the actual visible page, I click the blue Insert button. It will insert it as an icon, and on the face of it, that looks like it might be attractive, because you get a sense of that this is a text file. In actual fact, visitors find this frustrating, because they may or may not be able to actually see what's in the file, because the text is too small. And so it's often better practice to click on the file, get this little Options menu, and click Show as Link. That gets rid of the icon, but instead has the link as the file name. That can be enough to tell your viewers, your visitors, what the file is. I often find it's better to add a more descriptive title, and that's fairly easy to do. I'll click the Edit button on that menu, and then on this screen, I go down to Link Text, and I type in something more descriptive. Once I'm done, I hit the blue Save button, and that's a much more attractive link. When I have all the files uploaded and the links prepared on the page, and I'm done working for now, I click the blue Update button to publish this page, so viewers can see and click these links. At any time, I could return to a page and edit the files linked there, or edit their links anyway, by clicking the Edit button and clicking on the link. Now, ordinarily, if I were just viewing the page outside the editor, if I click the link, it would take me to the file and open the file in a viewer. In this case, when I click the link, it's going to give me this now familiar tools menu, which allows me to edit the link or show as thumbnail and so on. That's the basics of getting files into Confluence and then adding links that your viewers can use to access those files. But it's important to understand how files are stored in the wiki so that you're aware of how users access and download your files. So let's look at the attachment page next. Files stored in the wiki are attached or associated to particular pages rather than just being in a general storage area across the entire wiki. You and any of your visitors can see all the files attached to a page by visiting the Attachments page. Click the right-hand horizontal dots menu and choose Attachments. Now before I click this, this 3 is a shorthand indication that there are three files attached to this particular page in the wiki. So I'll go ahead and click that link. This is the Attachments page. It's behind the visible page and it shows you the files attached to this page and some details about each of them. Notice that there is a link to download all the files all at once, or they could be downloaded individually. If I click to open any of the files in a viewer, there's a download button. There's also some other information that can be useful. Perhaps most helpful for visitors is the creation date. They can quickly see how old a file is. 
It's possible to upload files directly to this page, but it's often quicker just to install them directly on the main page, to which I can return by clicking View Page, as I showed you before. It's important to remember the following about files in the wiki. Any file attached to a page is findable and visible to anyone who can visit that page. So if the visibility settings allow the entire general public on the internet to see a page, anyone on the internet can also see any files that are attached to this page. If a file is not linked or thumbnailed anywhere on the page, it is still available to any visitors, not just those who have editing rights on the page, by clicking these three horizontal dots and clicking Attachments. So, never assume that files attached to a page are unavailable to visitors to that page. Files are always downloadable. They're downloadable from this screen, they're downloadable from any viewer that's accessible from this screen, and of course is also accessible from the visible page. There's a download button. If a visitor can see a file anywhere in the wiki, they can download a copy of it to their own device. Files can be linked on pages other than the one to which they are attached. It's not often, but it does occasionally happen. So if I edit the page and I click Insert Files and Images, the wiki gives me the opportunity to search on other pages in the wiki, and I could find a file that's attached to another page and create a link on this page. It's also possible to create links to files and web pages outside the wiki too, a topic we cover in another tutorial. This might explain why a file is linked on this page, but does not appear in this page's attachment page. It's also worth pointing out that the wiki may not be the optimal location for shared files. The wiki can host or house files for distribution to visitors, but for certain applications, it may not be the best way to do it. For example, if you only need to periodically share files within a committee, and you neither need a set of hierarchical web pages, which is the basis for the wiki, nor to share the files with the general public, then perhaps a Google Drive shared folder or drive might be more efficient. Images displayed on a page are attached files. If you go to the attachments page, you will find the photograph of this dog right here. That occasionally comes in handy when looking on this page or other pages for a particular image you use repeatedly across pages, such as a logo.